Welcome back to Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. Last time we took out the Mantis bosses, and we are finally ready to leave this horrible, horrible planet that I can't pronounce. Uh, I took the liberty to go back inside the worm's uh, rear entrance to refill all my weapons and health, and across the gap here, and I picked up that grenade capacity increase. And now let's head through here and get off this planet once and for all. That tribal kind of disappeared after the battle. I have no idea where she went, but we can't get all the tribals on this run anyway, so it's not a big deal. Now let's see where our ship is going to take us. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. This area is Mizar's palace. I can't believe we're here already. I mean, is this really the last level of the game? Oh. It must be, I mean, it's called Mizar's Palace. There's no way Rare would ever put in a fake final boss fight somewhere. They certainly didn't do it in Banjo-Kazooie, and they certainly didn't do it in this game. No, sir. I guess our journey's coming to an end. But I bet they're gonna make it pretty tough for us to get that far. By the way, that clearly wasn't a setup for anything in the future. Okay, and we can get these tribals right off the beginning of the level. And we have this long, long path ahead of us. And I'm gonna switch my weapons up. Here we go. A little laggy there. Uh-oh, something's firing at me. I don't think it was those guys. Uh-oh! Hercules beetles. That's right, this room was full of these things. I think there's at least four of them, and they all have those plasma rocket things on their arms. They do a lot of damage, and they're more dangerous than the Hercules Beetles with two guns. Ah! Ah! Someone's firing at me from behind! I think. It's kind of hard to tell where those things are coming from. There he is. Best thing to do if you come up to these guys, shoot them in the head. That tends to stun them. I wonder... Now, I kind of thought that a gem would come out if I shot that gem on the wall. Sometimes they throw things in the game like that, but not here. Oh, a crate! Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay. And a stand. I wonder what's going to happen when we open this up. Could it be a new weapon? Nope! It is the night vision goggles. I'm going to have to warn you, a lot of this level is going to be completely green. Uh can't do anything about that. It's part of the game. And it actually makes completing this part of the stage a little bit more confusing because it all kind of looks the same. And, uh... Yep. Although it does... It's a cool effect that they put into this. Uh-oh. Oh, man. There's a ton of these guys waiting for me here. Ah, what's with the lag? It seems to have gotten worse recently. I noticed in that video I did last night that, uh, there was about 10 seconds of horrible lag in the middle that wasn't there during the actual fight. Which sucks. I didn't realize it was like that. And I think when I put the final video together, it wasn't like that. But nothing I can do. It's probably just something that happened when I posted it to YouTube. But anyway, that's not important right now. Uh, we are going around. This is actually a big circle. And that way goes to a drop-off, but I'm better off starting off and then hitting back. And, uh, collect these four tribals. Oh. There's four left. I like how they give you a counter on how many are remaining instead of making you guess. Not that there's a lot of room for exploration in this game. It's mostly linear. It's a lot of increases here. They're prepping me up for something. 
It's gotta be something big. I mean, we just had a boss fight, but... I don't know. Oh! They're pretty quick. One thing that baffles me about these enemies, you know, they they have grenades and they don't seem to care where they throw them. I mean, they throw them inside their spaceships, they throw them inside giant worms, they throw them in caves. you think all of those things would be a bad idea. I like it when they hold onto them too long and they just kind of blow themselves up. Or if they throw it at their own partners. It's like they don't care. Oh. Um, okay. Not much else to talk about about this level. It's kind of boring in this area. You think Mizar would uh, put a few more enemies in his final stronghold? And another increase. Lots of uh, Mizar money around here. Although, I don't think there are any Diamond Geezers around here. Diamond Geezers are the name of those mercenary robots that refill my health and everything, in case you haven't uh, read that text. Here's another fun fact. Uh, Juno and Vela's parents are dead, and apparently that is part of Mizar's doing. And I, it's in the backstory, and I don't think it's actually ever mentioned in the game. And I forget if I mentioned that already before, but I think it's the first time. I think I had planned on mentioning it, or it was in a section that got cut. Well, where are we going now? Hopefully somewhere with the light. Oh, good, we're outside again. I like actually having a color palette. And we gotta turn around here. Once we get out of the cutscene, there we go. Wait, where are we? There we go. There we go. There's a tribal all the way out on that lone platform. And uh I don't know how he or she got out there. And you gotta jump across this gap. Obviously it's instant death if you fall here. Oh, I almost didn't make that. Tribal hidden under the waterfall. And jump up. I just have enough time to make this, I think. Good. Ooh, two capacity increases. That's nice. And there's one over here, too. Check out all the details on these walls. That is cool. Oh well. And we got all the tribals in this section. Alright. Let's hit in the tally door and this area has been cleared. I don't have to do it again. Oh man. Looks like we're further into Mizar's palace. But you know what? Have you guys forgotten about Juno and Vela? They're still in this game, you know. And I bet they've been up to some other stuff. It's not all about Lupus. He's been hogging the spotlight. And I could probably go on. Not really. But, uh... I guess it's time to give Vela and Juno some more screen time. So, we're gonna leave Lupus here on uh, Mizar's palace for a little while. And we'll give uh, Vela and Juno a chance to get here. And just kind of see some different areas through some different eyes. Because I'm kind of sick of looking at Lupus's but the whole whole game. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this. It wasn't the most exciting area, but things will get better. Maybe there'll be a couple of other boss fights, or maybe at least one other one, before we get to Mizar. So stay tuned, guys. It's gonna get good, I swear.